We pull up a spreadsheet and on the spreadsheet, it shows uh, every single day, how many on the private messages, how many new private messages we started, how many replies we got that day, um, how many people agreed to listen to the podcast, how many people agreed to leave, uh, leave a rating and review for the podcast, how many people came back to the podcast, and which one said what. So we've got all the names. And so it was easy for us to go in and uh, we could account for 62 of those uh, ratings and reviews because in uh, about a six-ish month period, for 13 months, we're working with him, but the marketing itself happens for six months or until, it, until they get the result. He got the result in six months, so we stopped doing the paid ad part six months in. And so we look at those six months and see what the traction is. And he doesn't get a whole bunch of traction in the first month. That makes a lot of sense because it takes time to have these conversations with, with people in order to finally uh, ask them about a podcast that they've heard of and which one we should listen to. We actually go in and listen to it. We offer feedback for it. And then later we say, hey, have you heard of this person's podcast? There's an episode that I'd love to share with you. And so we track every single time we're doing that. And obviously, like I mentioned, it takes a few weeks. It takes three, four, five, six, seven weeks until the people that we're connecting with on a more organic way, we finally end up because it's a slow play. We don't ask for marriage on the very first time we meet somebody. We, we court them. We get to know them. We have a relationship with them. And later on, after they've given us something to listen to, then we share with them something to listen to. And we ask them what they thought about it. And then when if they say something really nice about our client's podcast, then we say, I love what you just said that with that. I bet, I'll just throw out a name, Sarah would be happy if all you did is copied and pasted what you just told me and make it a written review of her podcast. And if they say, yes, I'll do it. Or if they say, if they don't, if they ignore us, then we track that every single day. So we look at this and most of the days there wasn't a, a person, you know, in six months time, uh, most of those days, there wasn't a person that said that they would do it. But 62 people over the course of those six months from uh, wherever, I think it was, I don't remember the first month, but I know it ended on November 22nd of 2023. So we look at this uh, on November 22nd of 2023 is when the marketing ends. And we look to see how many people we talked to. Uh, you know, we got we talked to forty new people today. Uh, twenty of them, twenty people that we've already talked to responded. One person said that they would listen to the podcast. Zero people today said that they would leave a rating review. And then on the next day, one person says that they will leave a rating review. And so all we have to do is match up that person's name with. The, with if they got a actually got a rating and review, and we were able to account for 62 of the people that we talked to. It's about 30% of the conversations where they agreed that they would listen, about 30% or 31% actually said that they would rate and review the show with the nice thing that they already said. So we are able to see all of that, see if it's working, if it's not working. And we're able to track, you know, are we always at 30% or are we uh, doing better right now? Are we always at 30% or are we doing worse? If we're doing worse, then why? Is it have something to do with the messages that we're sending? Do we need to get in front of the, a different type of avatar? And so we measure and track all of that stuff. <laughs>